Hello and welcome to the Young Orthopod and today we will discuss about the blood supply of the femoral head. In this video, we will try to learn the accurate anatomy of the blood supply of femoral head and its importance in clinical practice. The femoral head derives its blood supply usually from four arteries. The profunda femoris artery via its medial circumflex and lateral circumflex branches, the obturator artery and occasionally the superior and inferior gluteal arteries. These form the trochanteric and cruciate anastomosis around the femoral neck contributing to the extracapsular arterial ring. The extracapsular arterial ring consists of ascending branch of lateral femoral circumflex artery anteriorly and ascending branch of medial femoral circumflex artery posteriorly. This ring tends to be incomplete. The major arterial supply to the femoral head is lateral segment of the arterial ring, which is the terminal branch of medial femoral circumflex artery. The ascending cervical vessels arise from the extracapsular ring and run along the extracapsular femoral neck. These vessels enter the neck at the attachment of the capsule to become the retinacular vessels which run along intracapsular femoral neck and comprised of three groups the anterior retinocular vessels, the posterior superior and posterior inferior retinocular vessels. The lateral femoral circumflex artery gives rise to anterior vessels and the medial femoral circumflex artery gives rise to the rest of the cervical vessels. The posterior superior retinocular vessels are the most important as they supply most of the femoral head. These retinocular vessels anastomose to form subsynovial arterial ring over the base of femoral head at the margin of articular cartilage. This intracapsular ring has been found to be incomplete more often in boys than in girls. The epiphyseal arteries enter the femoral head at the border of articular surface and form androsseous anastomosis. The artery of ligamentum teres is usually the branch of obturator artery and occasionally it may arise from medial femoral circumflex artery. It supplies usually only a small portion of the head close to its site of entry and is insufficient if other vessels are divided. The vascular anatomy of the femoral head is very specific. Till the age of 4 years, the main blood supply of the epiphysis is the ascending cervical vessels, mainly the lateral epiphyseal vessels at the posterior superior aspect and the metaphyseal vessels perforating the physis. The lateral epiphyseal and metaphyseal arteries arise from the medial femoral circumflex artery and enter the bone near the margin of articular cartilage. During the age of 4 to 8 years, epiphyseal plate becomes a firm barrier between epiphysis and metaphysis. Metaphyseal branches decrease and blood from separate lateral epiphyseal vessels becomes the only source to the epiphysis. In a child more than 8 years, ligamentum teres vessels progressively become prominent and anastomose with the lateral epiphyseal vessels. After the closure of physis, the arterial supply of femoral head assumes the adult configuration with supply from metaphyseal, epiphyseal and fovular arteries. This configuration of vessels must be kept in mind whenever surgically approaching the neck and head of the femur and the surgeon must be very careful not to place retractors around the posterior aspect of the neck as this could seriously interfere with the blood supply of the head. A femoral neck fracture disrupts the intraosseous blood supply to the head. The intracapsular portion of the neck has no cambium layer in its fibrous covering to participate in peripheral callus formation and healing is dependent on endosteal union alone. 
so if the retina clear circulation is also disrupted the head will undergo avascular necrosis also valgus and rotatory malposition may result in avascular necrosis due to kinking of posterior superior retinocular vessels so this was a brief idea of blood supply of femoral head if you like this video please tell us in the comment section and give us a thumbs up subscribe to the young orthopod for more videos in orthopedics you can also connect to us on facebook and instagram for more interesting content in orthopedics we'll be back with another video see you soon